Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. We're dedicated to delivering quality auto parts, expert customer service, fast and free shipping, all backed by our 100% satisfaction guarantee. So visit us at 1AAuto.com, your trusted source for quality auto parts. In this video, we're going to be working with our 2006 Chrysler 300. We're going to show you how to remove and replace your vehicle's steering wheel. If you like this video, please click subscribe. We have a ton more information on this and many other vehicles. And if you ever need parts for your car, you can follow the link down in the description over to 1AAuto.com. Here are the items you'll need for this repair. Lift up the cargo cover or the rear carpet here. You'll find our battery underneath. Using a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet, we'll disconnect the ground for our battery first. Lift up and hang it out of the way where it won't get damaged. Be sure that your steering wheel is telescoped all the way out and facing forward before working on any part of the column. Using a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet, Remove the 10 millimeter screws located on the back of the steering wheel, one on either side. These are usually captured screws, which means once they're backed out all the way, they don't actually come out of the steering wheel. These, however, do. You may have to move it just a little bit to get the screw on this side. That's all right, just make sure it's centered when you remove it. Carefully pull the airbag and steering wheel cover toward you. Be sure to disconnect all your connections from the back of the airbag, not the steering wheel side. Yellow marked connectors mean that they are part of the airbag system, so be extra careful with those and make sure you touch some metal surfaces a few times before working on them as a static shock could set this bag off. And we have our horn connection at the top. Remove this retainer from the threads. And just so you can see what I did, this tab right here is what secures the horn connector. So I just put my thumbnail under there. And just lifted that up a little to slide it off. Now make sure you place this bag face down under something solid like a workbench or at least far away from you while you're working in somewhere dry. And again, just so you can see what I was doing when removing the airbag connections, there's these two little tabs, one on each side at the three and nine o'clock positions. You just kind of pinch those together and pull back. Don't worry about remembering where these go because they are color coded. With the steering wheel, nice and straight, Use a 10 millimeter socket, ratchet, and extension to remove the 10 millimeter Allen screw holding the wheel onto the column. These are usually on there with a good bit of force, so be ready to put some torque on it. If you're really having a hard time with the steering wheel, you can put the seat belt through the bottom and lock it into its buckle for a little more leverage. <sighs> Remove the seatbelt. Recenter the wheel. And remove the 10 millimeter Allen bolt. Disconnect the white electrical connector at the bottom so you can sneak the steering wheel over this harness and just kind of whack the back of the wheel with your wrists until it comes loose and remove it from the vehicle. Make sure that your wheels and tires are pointing straight ahead. Carefully reinstall the connectors through the steering wheel show you which opening that is in just a second. You want to make sure that you do not allow your clock spring to rotate during this process because letting it move too far one way or the other 
could cause it to fail when steering. You can see which opening I put those connectors through. Make sure that this arrow on your clock spring is facing 12 o'clock, as well as the one on your steering wheel. And install your steering wheel back onto the splines. Reinstall your 10 millimeter Allen bolt in the center of your wheel. Get that down as tight as you can by hand to make sure your steering wheel doesn't move. Actually, we can snug that up with the 10 millimeter Allen socket, wrench, and extension. You may choose to help hold your steering wheel with the same seatbelt trick we used to remove it and torque the center bolt to 52 foot-pounds. Remove the seat belt from the wheel. Reconnect the white electrical connector at the bottom rear of the inner steering wheel cover. Touch some metal components of the vehicle to make sure that there is no static charge on your body. And reconnect your airbag connectors. Snap that retainer back over the stud. And reconnect the horn. Lay your airbag back into the wheel and reinstall the two 10 millimeter bolts with your 10 millimeter socket and ratchet. Turn your key to the on position and reconnect your battery. What this does is ensures that there's power going to the airbag when you connect the battery back here where you're safe, as opposed to connecting your battery going into the vehicle and sitting in front of the SRS system you just worked on, engaging the key and risking being hit by a malfunctioning airbag or clock spring component. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.